Before we start today's video, I want to share with you this month's pick from Dossier. And this is the brand I've been sharing with you for almost two, almost three years now. They are an awesome brand that takes well-known and popular fragrances and recreates them for a more realistic price. And they do it so well. A lot of the fragrances are practically identical. It's really awesome. This month, I decided to showcase for you the musky green tea. And after giving out a ton of gifts this year for the holidays, I decided this one was going to be a gift for me, which I recommend you doing too. I mean, you are awesome and you definitely deserve a gift and who better to get something for you than you. And this makes a great gift. It's inspired by Creed's Silver Mountain Water. It smells pretty much identical to the original and it's just overall an awesome choice. And really, whether you go with this one or maybe one for someone else, you can find something for everyone at the Dossier Shop, which is linked in the description. And I highly recommend you go check out one of their inspired fragrances or even one of their original fragrances, which are just as good in my opinion. Once again, link to their shop is in the description. Head on over there and check them out. Now though, on to today's episode. What is the difference between the Blue Mon Ascend and the new Blue Mon Rebound Curl Defining Cream? I think it's a fair question. I've had a few of you ask that ever since the new Rebound Cream dropped over at the Blue Mon shop here recently. And today for the final episode of 2023, we're going to run through it real quick. All right, so the answer to this question I think is pretty simple, but I also, again, think it's a fair question to ask regarding the differences between the two products. For starters, the Blue Mon Ascend is a volume boosting hair cream that basically just adds more body to the hair. And by that, I mean it adds more fullness to your hair, more height. You can think of it as kind of like a booster for your hair. On the other hand, the Rebound Curl Defining Cream is somewhat close to that based on attributes, in my opinion, at least it's somewhat close, but the biggest difference is the fact that the Rebound Cream is directed specifically at curly hair and wavy hair. And as I'm about to show you, it can work for other hair types as well, and it can add some body to the hair, but it's not the main focus like what we see with the Ascend. Rebound also does a few extra things in there like minimizing frizz and actually making the hair softer, which the Ascend doesn't claim to do. Finish wise too, the Rebound is listed as a low shine finish, whereas the Ascend is a full matte finish. There's also a different scent on each one of these if we're being specific, but performance is usually what we're all focused on. So I'll just go ahead and stick to that and show you which each one of these does in my hair so you can get a visual reference. And speaking of my hair, you might notice it looks a bit different from my last video. I did get a little trim. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep going shorter or stick with this for a while. I'm kind of playing it by ear right now, but I got a nice healthy trim and I got it shaped up as well. So I'm going to roll with this for at least today. And I'm going to start with the Ascend so I can give you a look at what it does for me. And I'm going to do both of these tests the exact same way. I'm going to work it into freshly washed, damp hair. I'm just going to make sure it's fully worked into the roots and then I'm going to hit it with the heat and with the ascend this is our first result you can see there's a good plumped up look going on there there's some extra body extra volume especially on the sides you can really see it there and on top you might notice it looks a bit fluffy but it's also nicely primed for styling and for me that's one of the benefits here you can really go pretty much whatever route you want when it comes to styling with a result like this let's go ahead and reset the hair now and try out the rebound cream and obviously I am at a bit of a disadvantage with with this one right off the bat because I don't have curly hair, but it is my hope that no matter what, you will be able to see some sort of difference as I do in person. Once again, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing here. I'm just gonna be adding it into damp hair and working it all the way into the roots and then hitting it with the heat until fully dry. And here is the result after doing that. And yes, once again, right off the bat, I think the effect is somewhat similar, especially in my hair, but I would recommend that you try and picture what this might mean for curly hair as you look at what I'm seeing with my hair which I think does have a bit more in the taming department. There's obviously not as much volume as we saw with the Ascend. It's just a bit more toned down. There's no frizz. And then when it comes to the finish, I think they absolutely nailed the finish description on this one. It is much more natural versus the Ascend, which for me comes out just a tad bit more dry and fully matte. Finally, here's one more side-by-side -side look at both results to hopefully give you a visual reference at the differences between the two in my hair. That though is pretty much all I got for this one. I hope this helps you out with the differences between these two products. And if you would like to check out either of these or anything else really from the Blue Mon lineup, you can use my name. Just type Mike in the coupon box at BlueMon.com and save yourself a bit of money on your next order. I also want to thank you real quick for making 2023 a fun year for me here on the channel. I will be returning for 2024. I'm already pretty excited for what the coming year will bring. And once again, I just thank all of you who watched and subscribed this year. If you haven't already, make sure you do me a big 
favor and tap that by the way that would really help as we go into the next year but thank you so much for watching for liking for subscribing for just engaging with the content that i've made i'm really looking forward to making you more but for today's episode and for this year i will close it out for the final time take it easy i'll see you next year